Good evening. Good morning. David Murphy, Central Policy Unit. How are you? Nick Leone, how are you? Can I just ask a basic question? How many Defence Force personnel are we short of? To maintain basic operational capability? Yeah. 6,000? Another 6,000. Another 6, Plus, we have to hold on to the ones we already have. We lost a couple of pilots only last week. Mm. Crash. Jetstar. They're opening a new route to Hawaii. Very hard to compete. It is a major issue across all the services, uh, but I wouldn't say crisis. Wouldn't you? No, we've been ordered not to. But I think I speak for everybody here when I say that numbers are a serious worry. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And at a time when the Australian Defence Forces is facing one of its greatest threats. Are we talking terrorism? Uh, mining companies. Uh -huh. Of course, oh, sorry. Gosh. See, the resources boom is siphoning off every second member. Must be difficult to compete, yeah? Well, why would a mechanic accept $45,000 to service a truck in Afghanistan when he can make a hundred grand working in Kalgoorlie? You're more likely to get shot in Kalgoorlie. Do you mind if we take some notes? Go ahead. <clears throat> Just who exactly do you need? We need more welders, uh, clerks, diesel mechanics. Cooks? No, cooks, yes, uh, no, IT specialists. Soldiers? Uh, it depends what you mean by soldiers. You know, people who fight. No. We don't really need any more of those. Ooh, what do you mean by soldiers? Well, I mean people who are dressed as soldiers, but who are actually electricians or software specialists. They're still working for the Australian Defence Forces, but they provide a more uh, logistical role. You know, like truck drivers, accountants. Thank you so much, gentlemen. We do appreciate that time you've made for us today. You're Thank welcome. you so much. Sorry to paint such a negative picture. No, 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 no. Look, that's, that's what we need to hear. See, the other cause is this constant deployment. What do you mean? sending troops off all the time. Isn't that what they're for? Yes, but uh, it kills recruitment. So what do you reckon? I reckon there's got to be a point where grown men stop wearing shorts.